hello aquarius souls so aquarius ascendant souls now they are about sattva and kama the for what they are looking for gains they are looking for money how what do i gain from the situation what do i gain from the connections with, with the people that i have because remember traditionally aquarius the 11th house or the 11th house sign is about social media about communication about having tons of friends you will never find an aquarius ascendant soul lonely they are forever in their friends groups larger groups not one on one friends but more of a a whole lot of friends so aquarius ascendant souls what are they looking for this is a beautiful sign of sattva and kama they are looking for the purest form of desire the purest form of desire comes in what fulfillment you get from the earth while being an embodied soul as a human which is gains gains in terms of money gains in terms of connections gains in terms of wealth wealth might be translated by aquarius into the abstract form of wealth it doesn't matter how much money they get they do want money but they will translate it as i am abundant why because aquarius is still air it's the last of the air signs last of the kama signs so kama looks at kama in 5th house and in 9th house so the graduation point go the education point is about gemini they need to discover a lot of desires of skills of communication abilities and the final graduation point for aquarius with regard to their desire will be finding and fulfilling their need for connection and companion we'll come to that later so they start with desire these are about desires again the last of the uh, air signs aquarius but it is still air what is the quality of still air like scorpio is still water aquarius is still air what does this mean it means they when anything is very still you have to go within to find the movement because energy in this dimension is here to move in us as thoughts as emotions as external actions as whatever okay so aquarius needs to do a deep dive within themselves and they will do it through all the houses let's see how in the second house we have tamas and moksha when they come across their family because they are seeking gains and their connections the why me they need to get a liberation from the family itself and this is a little tough sign for aquarius but they are capable of it because they are very satvic and form of desire right so they are looking for the purest aspect of desire that's what sattva and kama do together <clears throat> so tamas and moksha there the why me answer requires them to liberate themselves from their ego with their family liberate themselves from their wealth that their family has liberate themselves from their early friends childhood friends liberate themselves from any aspect of ego clashes that they might have with their elder siblings because second house also stands for elder siblings liberate themselves from their physical beauty because second house also stands for face okay face and complexion so aquarius has this lesson going on here right in the second house in the third house they have rajas and dharma this is the beginning if they do this properly then in the third house they need to find path and purpose so in the house of skills they will look for skills which fulfill the answer to that question the why why do i need to do this what is my path in life what is my purpose what is my direction all these questions that the aries asks in the third house to the aquarius ascendant soul is about finding finding communication finding connection finding the skills which answer those kinds of questions for them then they move to the fourth house one of the kendra houses again which is rajas and artha so they are looking for means here so aquarius people typically look at their mother as a as means as a resource 
as somebody who provides them food, cooks, cleans, a utility aspect because they are recognizing them as a resource. Taurus is landing in the fourth house. Wherever Taurus lands, they are looking for resources and abilities. Can this person provide me this thing or can I learn this from this person? They are looking for gains and connections through this fourth house. So home front for them becomes a place for just a resource. This is fourth house is for home. So look at how different ascendants look at different aspects of their own life. Yeah, it's very interesting. <clears throat> In the fifth house of education, they have the next point of karma. They looked for connections when they were born. In the fifth house, they want to discover their skills, desires and communication. Aquarius is non-stop yammering about lots of things because they are a social bird. They want to talk, 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 talk to the people around them. That's how they connect with people. At this time on earth, we don't have telepathy. So the only way is you have to non-stop yammer about things in order for your point to come across. Hey, that's why YouTube and Google, right? Social media, all this stuff, Twitter. Rajas and Kama now come in fifth house. That means they have to discover skills of communication and build upon knowledge or do a college or a school degree which promotes their communication abilities in order to gain what they are looking for, connections. They need better the communication. This is non-negotiable for Aquarius because they are an air sign, they are about the mind. It's the still air, it's the sattvic sign, so they need to constantly refine their skills. It's a rajas kama, so they need to constantly refine their skills of communication, skills of how they display their talents. Okay? Communication may be any number of things. It may be in video, audio, text writing a book, it can be in any area, it's not one area or one type of communication I'm talking about. In the sixth house, daily work routines, what do they have here? They have Sattva and Moksha, they have Cancer, they need to connect with their profession, they need to really make a heart connection with their profession and daily work if they want to succeed. Remember, Moksha points and always are common between the 6th house, daily work and career, 10th house, in every ascendant, not just Aquarius. So this moksha has to graduate into that moksha. Okay. So Aquarius people really need to make a heart connection, not just do things because they are being done by somebody else. Although they want gains all along, they need to connect with the heart if they want that success and enjoyment in daily life. Seventh house of spouse, love, interest, intimate partners, lovers, has got sattva and dharma, the leo, the why and the how, creative intelligence, very powerful sign here in the seventh house. But they, if the Aquarius person, listen to me Aquarians, if you need to make a connection with your spouse, if you're having difficulty with your spouse, which is very, very typical of Aquarius, Aquarius ascendants do not make very good love relationship bonds. And I'll tell you why here. The reason is because you're faced with Leo. You're faced with the son who has got his own ego problems. Okay? His or her. So they get typically tend to attract partners who have sattva and dharma or the Leo aspect to them. Who are asking why and how. Who are very creative people who have got a very high ego structure. How can you connect with them? Well, here is the hint. First, lose your own ego. Mr. Aquarius, Mrs. Aquarius, Miss Aquarius. Okay, Lose your ego to connect with the partner. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Eighth house has got work and routines. So if you want to go get over the instability of life, focus yourself on work and routines. Instability of life is just a time period thing, folks. It just comes and goes in everyone's life. Nobody's life is completely stable. Life teaches us different things or different aspects of who we are as a soul through the instabilities. You see how this works? 
So get working, have proper routines for yourself, daily routines. Connect with that daily routine, work properly, then you will be able to tide over any instability or uncertain times of life. Let me just put it that way. In the ninth house, we have the graduation point for the desire for Aquarius. And this is where I'm answering this seventh house question. It is Rajas and Kama. It is the Libra. So for Aquarius to really feel fulfilled in their partnerships, in their romance, in their marriages, first is you need to reduce their ego a little bit not be so stubborn okay yours is not the only point of view in the world although you think you are because you have a very sattvic sign in the head you want the pure form of desire but the ego structure needs to be let go off in order for you to connect to this one through this one through the ninth sign meaning what Ninth house is for what? For foreign travels, for higher education, philosophy of life. So the Aquarius person will be very good at finding romantic partners and love interest who are wiser than them. These people are Satvik and it's a mind, it's an air sign. So this is going to be a tough push for Aquarian ascendants because they think they are wiser than their spouse. But in actuality, they need to make a heart connection Rajas and Kama, the Libra is where they will find their connection. So Libra comes in the ninth house, meaning you have to connect with a person who is wiser than you, maybe from a foreign land, maybe from another race, culture, religion. Okay, You need to develop a broad world view, Aquarians, and connect with that partner. That's where you will find the fulfilling need for the connection. You will find a proper companion and that will help you use your creative intelligence. That partner will help you use the creative intelligence through their wisdom by which you can grow. Okay, because Bhavad Bhavam of the seventh house is always the first house for all ascendants. It just comes across different ways, folks. So in the tenth house, you have Tamas and Moksha. So they are secretively seeking success in their career they don't talk about it but they are the famous bollywood star amitabh bachchan is an aquarius ascendant and you can see this in his demeanor even in the social media in everywhere he comes across as very humble but they are secretly seeking desires they are finding their core desires secretly not telling everyone in the 10th house of career but if they have mastered the art of connecting with their work in the daily work sattva and moksha in the fourth house cancer is coming in the sixth house number four sign is coming in the sixth house and graduating to number eight in 10th house so if they make this heart connection then and only then they will know their core desires this is how moksha graduates first you liberate your ego Learn to connect with your heart, with your daily work. Learn to love your work. Basically, that's what it means. And then and only then you will find the last moksha point in your work. Although you don't tell anybody about it, but you are really proud of what you are doing secretly. The Scorpio sign. In the 11th house, you are having sattva and dharma. The what, where, who, the Sagittarius sign. So higher philosophy you are seeking in the 11th house what does this mean the aquarian person because they are all about social connections they will focus want to get these gains a lot secretly how will you achieve that by learning from the crowd your dharma your higher philosophy and wisdom will come from the crowd again going back to amitabh Bachchan and the program he hosts on tv like who wants to be a millionaire version of program in India, right? He connects with common people. He connects with the greater community and that's how he is growing wiser. And that's where he will even gain. That's where he makes money. That's where he understands higher wisdom of life. He connects with a lot of people there. Entire India actually. 
and in the 12th house it's rajas and artha so they really don't have a very strong connection to spirituality the aquarius people are not here for spirituality they are here to maximum understand the highest aspects of wisdom because if you start treating the, the house of spirituality and letting go as something that you have to ground how and what and where if you're thinking of career job and business in capricorn the best they can do is maybe contribute to a charity they don't really believe in spirituality aquarius they might think it's all humbug okay <laughs> that's the way it plays out for them all right take care be safe keep watching if you're on the podcast watch the youtube channel for the presentation part and you'll understand some more